Hey, it's me again. So when I finally found my piano teacher and my method that I was excelling with, um, I hit the ground running. I loved piano and I was fortunate. I was a homeschool kid. I would do some homework and then I'd go play piano, practice that part. And then I'd go do some homework, practice that part again. A lot of times I skipped my homework and I would go practice piano. It was just so much fun. Um, after I started to figure out how to play and what I could, what I could do, the, the method I was taking was awesome. My teacher was awesome. It was a lot of listening, very, very in tune with the sound and what sound you're making, never banging on a piano and just making bad noise. You're making pleasant noises uh, with the pieces I was learning. So I took that all the way through high school and into college. And when I was in my little pond, I was pretty good. You know, I was probably one of the better ones in my little, little circle until I got to college. <laughs> I realized I was an average player among many. And I was watching some of the better players, what they were doing. And I would talk to these guys. I almost interview them because I'm just so curious. Um, some of these guys were just like off the charts good. Okay. And I remember some of these guys would practice six hours a day, dedicated practice. Okay. You get up to go to the bathroom, they hit the timer, come back, press it again. It was six hours, dedicated practice. Because these guys were on the path to be like a concert pianist or a professional pianist. Um, I mean, just think about this. Anyone who works a desk job or um, an office, um, we all know that, you know, we get phone calls, we get uh, boss comes to talk to you, coworkers, you go get coffee, you go to the lunchroom, we go by the water cooler, talk about the game. Um, I think very few people are doing dedicated work straight focused and these guys were doing six hours five six hours a day dedicated practice and i remember asking them like, okay so you're doing six hours a day is this are you hoping to become like a concert pianist you know that you know you're going to be international star and you're going to tour, tour the world and you're going to play in concert halls and they're like yes i want to be a performer and i'm like wow like, you, you don't know if you're going to make it. You're going to do six hours a day and you might not make it. I'm like, yeah, we'll take that chance. I'm like, um, and as an aside here, like to become a concert pianist at that level, it would be easier for you and all your non-musical friends, grab four of them, pick up an instrument, start a garage band, and you'd have a better chance of winning a Grammy than going to be a concert pianist. It is on a level that is beyond what we can like imagine. It's, it's another world. It's another universe. Um, we're talking Michael Jordan dunking from the half court. I mean, it's, that's how good these guys got to be. Um, very, very hard. Very few people do it. If you go and watch a concert pianist, like you have Jenny Kissin, Lang Lang. I've seen him live. Maurizio Pellini. I've met him. He's, <laughs> insane um watch what some of these guys are doing uh, just do a youtube video on these guys i mean it, it's off the charts it's not even close um so i made a decision i'm like i i don't think i want to do that i'm not going to play for six hours and practice for six hours a day on the hopes of being a concert pianist and and i think that a lot of the piano methods that are out there kind of go on that path to being a concert pianist. And there's a lot of fundamentals you got to know. There's a lot of gimmicks out there. Like the piano is being played virtually the same way for hundreds of years. It's a piano. You do, there's an art of playing it that is pretty much the same way. There is different methods that can maybe, you could cut a little time off if it, if it hits, hits you well, but it's going to take practice. It's going to take some dedication, right method, right teacher, all that. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I see some, uh, I see some advertisements out there like learn piano in 20. I saw somebody, there was a method like learn piano in 20 minutes. Like, okay. Uh, maybe a chord or, a, or like a one chord song or, you know, be a proficient pianist in, in uh, 30 days or two weeks or whatever. Like think about anything that you're good at. Okay. Did it take you two weeks to get where you are now? You know, 
I mean, you can't even figure out your iPhone with everything it does in two weeks, 30 days even. I mean, there's stuff on our iPhone that we still don't know what to, how to use it, you know, to the max efficiency. So <laughs> I always laugh at that. But there is different methods you could take. You, not everyone has to be a concert pianist because that is a path that is um, very few can travel. But you can get to a point where you're playing really well and you're happy with it. And you can just keep polishing on that level of playing and you're good. You know, you can be happy with that. I remember I was, I was happy with where I was at. I remember my senior recital, I, I went to college with, for piano and I finished it. And I remember I played, I just want to know I could do it. I played a piece called, um, it was Prokofiev was the composer and it was piano sonata number seven. I think it was the third movement. It was like the fast and crazy one. Extremely hard. You had to have big hands. It had like tenths in it and all this stuff. And I remember playing it. So you go in this big concert hall, okay? And there are three people. It's your head piano chair, my teacher, and then the other piano instructor. instructor. And they're all there. And they're like, okay, you may begin. <laughs> like, okay. Um, and so I played it. Uh, I played it pretty darn well and I was, you know, finished up and they said, Hey, you know, we'd like you to come back for a fifth year uh, and get your performance degree. We think you should be a performer. Uh, we'll give you a scholarship for it too. Like <laughs> very flattering, but no, I'm not going to be a performer because I know what that took. I just, I got to a level where I was happy with and that's where I stayed. So don't let anybody tell you that you have to be a concert pianist because you don't. <laughs>